unless something radical changes in the way we handle Asian culture, I don't think this will ever change. I feel like it starts with us. But End of the sandwich generation. So what comes after the sandwich? I don't know. <laughs> the plate. The plate. <laughs> Okay, but, but okay, so, so here's a very interesting question, right? Because like, if they ask you to give, you don't want to give. There, there's better ways to spend your money, right? So let's say now, Shen Shen is in a very unique situation, okay? About to uh, future uh, set up a family and stuff. If, let's say, Chloe, you are in the same situation, you're about to set up a family and stuff, and you still give your monthly contribution. Mm. But you know, right, that a little bit that you give to the parents could help you, like, get the things that you need, like, month to month, right? Which one is more immediate family? The par- the parents that gave birth to you or the husband and kids that like you chose? I think it's not on choosing sides. It's more of... I feel like the if I have children, uh. my children will need it more since they don't have the ability to earn money. Uh-huh. They are depending on me. Uh. Yeah, so if it comes to that situation, I obviously have to provide for my children first. Lah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's very hard to ask you because you don't pay out. La. So let's let's just talk of the concept of the same time. Like, if let's say, <laughs> this is a dumb comparison, but um, you have a thing like your child has a recital, grandma has a birthday. Like, which is the better investment of time? Because to them, you say, ma, you'll always be there. Ma. Yeah, but your child's first recital. Eh. My child's first recital because I celebrated a lot of my grandma's birthdays. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought I thought the answer was pretty obvious, right? Your child's first recital is going to be his or her first recital forever. Mm. Mm. But I have celebrated quite a number of my grandma's birthdays already. Mm. I'm sure I can, you know, celebrate it another time. A belated birthday celebration. Or I give her a gift afterwards, you know? Yeah. Okay, so honestly, I expected Shen to have my kind of answer because we sometimes divide the same way. Just ask the grandma come to celebrate the recital lah. I mean, that is another... Yeah, you that, can just do both. I'm pretty sure solution. like grandmas are not... Yeah, but okay. So the thing I is that... Why, why must it be a choice? No, because the, the, the question always is like, you have your parents that you need to support, right? You have your family you need to feed. Money, it can only go into one place. Okay. Then people are I felt like choose. that wasn't really a difficult question. Because she doesn't pay the money. No, <laughs> as really in there's so many hours in the day. The celebration can come after the recital. Right? Now you can see that the girls doesn't see as like oh it's it's not necessary it's not like sacrificing there are many ways to do it because it's more well informed but unfortunately it's very hard for us to communicate this to our parents be like no lah you should go and save <laughs> tell this 62, 65 year old you just see pay your it's also not very nice so I think unless something radical changes in the way we handle Asian culture I don't think this will ever change it's up to like personal family to manage I feel like it starts with us law so like from we have to be the correct of from our generation on the end of the sandwich generation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what comes after the sandwich? I don't know. <laughs> the plate. The plate. <laughs> the, plate. <laughs> the, the plate generation. <laughs> I think yeah like I it. You are asking when it will stop. Yeah. I think it stops with us. Yeah. yeah. I I yeah. I have a very strong feeling that. Mm. Cause okay, let now now that we we finished uh, talking about our parents, let's say you become parents, will you expect the same out of them? Never. Even you pop on online, mail chain. Never. I I won't. I think like the worst thing I can do for my kids uh. is to make them feel like they need to sacrifice whatever, their life uh. just to support me and my mistakes. Right. Okay. Yes, I vibe with that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah. I think that would be a terrible thing to do as a parent, lah. Mm. And it's. Something that I will never want to put my child in this yeah in this kind of situation. I will never want to do it. Uh, yeah, lor. That's 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 just my point of view. So I will make sure that I am financially uh prepared for retirement for sure. Yeah, I agree with your your, your point of view because I wouldn't want to have children where I can't financially support them while supporting myself. Even in retirement, when you have no active income or like passive income, is like survival for you, lah. And then I will want to make sure that I am financially um, able to support them till whatever age and also for my own retirement. So after retirement, let's say you account for inflation the best you can, but nobody can see in the future, mm-hmm. then it's short. Like it's like significantly short enough that your standard living will reduce, not not beggar status, but you're going to 
live a little bit cheaper, one room flat kind of stuff. You're still not gonna expect them to like, hey, contribute a little bit more. Let me go back to my usual standard of living. No, because I feel like if I were to expect this from them, right, then it doesn't come out from them like genuinely. Like it's because of the expectations. Like of course, the thing, no? there are some people who expect right, then don't make noise. Then they internally are just angry. Those are the worst. Because like my grandma used to be the kind of person. She won't say a thing if you don't give give her like money. But right, she also won't show it to you one. But right, when um the kids that give her money, right, what favoritism one, them no? one. The rest is you, ah, my son is my son, ah, but this is my son plus money, no. <laughs> and I think that kind of expectation may still live around because it is not, I would say, trendy or is it acceptable to want to expect things out of your children. But it's very hard to get rid of that notion that ah, come on, I raised you for 20 years. At least I deserve something more than your time. I have 20 years already. Yeah. I don't need your yeah. silly ass around but, but anymore. But at the same time, it's the parents' decision to have the child. Ma. Uh-huh. Our decision to have the child. La. So I feel like we shouldn't expect. As in, I feel like, okay, I, I agree that some people will still have the expectation. Uh. But as you hopefully, I won't be to the point where <laughs> I have to like. <laughs> Scream and save in my retirement. Mm. 